in my fast talking. <laughs> Sound like me. Sound like you about to break into Spanish. I know, right? Live, wrong. <laughs> We're back, 950 Lounge Live, third hour. Thank you, Star Taft, Stephanie Curtis. Appreciate you guys. Moon Justice, look for that movie real soon. Yes. Major, major production. But we're joined here now by you know two people that in this radio entertainment journey, whatever you want to call it, you meet people that you admire, you meet people that you become fans of, you meet people that you can call friends. And these two are definitely in that ballpark. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Nafi Lounge one more time. The homie J30 and the lovely Malin Rain. What's going on, guys? Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, since the last time I saw you, you know, you guys are making some major moves. I'm really proud of you. I know we speak all the time off record about, you know, brainstorming ideas, different things, and, and you're really making it happen. Talk about what's going on right now with Scholar VMG. Um, Scholar VMG, first let me just tell y'all what it means. Scholar VMG is a Scholar Vision Music Group, and it's an a, a independent label that uh, my partner and I came together. Uh, I had a company called Scholar Music. He had a company called Vision Music Group. And just from working together in the studio um, and working on my project, you know, you kind of start talking and stuff like that. You know, oh, hate the industry. So you know, all the problems. Right, right, right. You know, <laughs> basically. So <laughs> after after a while, we just got so frustrated because there really wasn't um, too many platforms anymore. Mm. A lot of things are changing with the economy. It's changing the whole industry. So uh, to create a place for us to be able to put out our music and right. just, you know, have that support, we came together and made Scala VMG. Um, and you know we're based in the Bronx, and we've been doing it now for about I say maybe a, a year and a half. Well, it, it's a fantastic move because I think you guys complement each other well. I mean, Thank I've you. seen a lot of collaborations that <laughs> just don't work, but you guys work, mm -hmm. and it, and it's because you're both talented, you're both good at what you do, and you know you, you look at this as a game plan. This is not just something you do, you know, just mm -hmm. for the moment. You know, um, I don't think you have to do it for any external reasons. You do it because you're good at it and passionate about it. Now, Jay, you, you had a video that came out recently that showed you and Kanye yeah. that made a lot of oh, press. Man. So Jenny yeah. um, too. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you dude, you guys. Know. Like, yeah, oh, he had a high, it, right. he had a high okay. top fade. You know that was back in the day. He had yeah. a fade. <laughs> wow. I have no hair on my face. <laughs> <laughs> what what year was that? Uh, I believe that was like 2002, 2003. Okay. Mm. Right. Talk about that a little bit. Obviously, again, I know you're your own artist and your own measures, but you know, you you was in a situation where you know it, it hit. It, it was a it funny situation, yeah. actually. Um, my brother at the time, uh, it's Wingman, it's Wingman dot com. Mm -hmm. He's a he's a host, like he's a big MC host. Right. Um, he was working with uh, we were modeling at the time, mm -hmm. a couple of years for Mecca USA, academics and a couple other lines, right. and he was working with Fubu, and mm -hmm. he was getting more into the film. Right. Uh, basically, he was shooting and filming the actual event. It was mm -hmm. at a double XL. Uh, like the freshman oh, cover wow. stuff yeah, or whatever freshman they class, yeah, but it was yeah. for DJs. It was really for DJs. So you had DJ Enough, uh, ah. DJ uh, Envy was there. Mm -hmm. You had Jen was there, and Kanye just came through. Now this is when he first just got signed. Like they right. just gave him they the just rock gave him the rock chain. Like, chain. Like, <laughs> you know, yeah, like, so it was kind of dope because as mm -hmm. a producer, you know what I'm saying. I knew it was something like me and that dude got a lot in common mm -hmm. as far as being producers, not just an artist but a creator. You know what right. I'm saying. Um, and I play, I was just playing beats. I was playing mm -hmm. like 20 beats and it was just one we got, got crazy, got stupid with and he just kept saying, yo, bring that back. Bring that back. <laughs> it was like a half an hour we were spitting and um, we lost the tape. Wow. It got lost for like 12 years. 12 years. <laughs> I think Nick, um, I wish Nick Young probably wished his tape got lost. but And it, and it popped oh, up man. out of nowhere at the perfect time. Right, right. Dropping, exactly. Um, it's like Nick projects. Young. <laughs> He's dropping the project so it was right. like, wow. Like, yeah. You know, um, so it's a great look. It was all over the internet, your world star, you know, everywhere. So mm -hmm. it's a good look. At no the doubt. End of the day. No doubt. Let's talk about the new the new single you got out. You got a really racy video with you too. I know people will start talking. I don't know. I mean, that's, that's something <laughs> I don't want to talk about. But the video is really it, it's a sexy video. I think it represents both you guys well. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, with the furs, and the, I don't know if you plan to have oh, snow, but the backdrop is crazy. Oh, Talk we said if we're going to kill it, we're going to kill it. We're going to have a drop top with furs on in the snow. You know what I'm saying? Like this. Like, what? Yeah, like, they all on it. Wow. You know Talk about saying? that a little bit, the, the, the single and the video. Yeah, the idea, who, the concept, mm -hmm. like who came up with the concept. And oh, well, like, like I said, like Mala said, we're always in the studio just creating. So Pretty we're not much just every creating, night. <laughs> we're not just creating. Got pull out so. bed, got, you know, oodles and noodles in there. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we cooked up this joint. Um, I, I produced the beat. Um, and I was just trying to come up with an idea, and Mala wrote the hook, mm -hmm. it was, uh, the all on the hook, 
Mm-hmm. And we just started from there. We created um, the verses and we took it from there. Now, Mal, you're a lyricist. I mean, you're mm-hmm. a deadly lyricist, too. You know, you, you surgical <laughs> with it. Talk about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'll speak for you. Oh, you blushing. Look at her. She's blushing. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. I put a lot of blush this morning. He's like, don't stop. Don't stop. You're good at it and you rock it. But talk about the just the the aura that rap, female rappers have to go through. It seems like it's, a, it's a, still a tough journey. Even 2016, we go back from Prefla rappers that have been around, female rappers. But talk about still the journey that you got to go through to be accepted as a lyricist, not somebody who's, you know, trying to show their broad strap, but somebody who's trying to spit bars. Um, You know, it's always been kind of a challenge just because mm-hmm. people, they like to judge books by their cover. So right. I definitely don't look... Like a rapper, I don't, you know. What it, do you look like? What do you? What, what, what I look like, like I don't know. Um, a nurse, <laughs> <laughs> DMV worker. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I, <laughs> um, Ticketron. You know, we can go on and on. <laughs> fuck, damn. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, shut up. Wait, you know, <laughs> all the blue collar jobs. Thanks. Uh, I don't know what I look. Like. I mean, I just feel like I just look like kind of your average, mm. just you know, Latina from around the way. You know, like. Maybe probably a nurse. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> you know, so when I when I meet people, and oh, I'm really really small. Let me just you know, if you haven't seen me, um, the videos lie because that's all angles. Hey. I'm very short. Um, so when people meet me, especially if I'm not talking too much yet, uh, to give it away, mm-hmm. they kind of just you know you know they take it for granted. You know, they just think I'm just this cute little thing. You know, when they find out I rap, they're just like, why? What? I have to hear something because I can't believe she. You know, and then when they hear it, they're like, what? Like, Mm -hmm. that's not you. That's not you. Or who wrote that for you? Or, you know, so, yeah, nobody ever believes. And, and, um, it's, you know, seeing is believing for a lot of people. So it's, I I have to like, really like show and prove. Um, and that's kind of been my challenge, my personal challenge. Um, and I'm, I, women in general, when it comes to rap, right. have a challenge, but I have a lot of other challenges because of the way I look. Mm-hmm. Um, and also because I'm a mom. So that's a big challenge too Hi, for, you know, some women that in the industry, and I'm not just going to say rappers because this is female R&B artists or just writers or producers or what whatever, you know, it becomes a lot more challenging when you have a kid because women right. typically, we stay home with the kid and we raise right. the kid. Right. You know what I mean? The men could just have a baby mama or, you know, leave her with, leave their kids with the, the grandmother, whatever, and be off and do what, what they got to right. do. But when you're a mother and you're also an artist, mm-hmm. you're the brand, you're the company, you're the boss. Um, you have to be available for that, but you right. also have to be available for your kids. Yeah. So that's another challenge. Cloning is not, yeah. It's, it's, it's been a lot of challenges, but uh, I'm here today. So, can you know, it. as proof that you can do it, anybody yeah. can do it if I can and do you're it. you're rocking so. the bad girl's chain. Yeah, Absolutely. I've seen it. I'm looking. I'm going <laughs> to say that. <laughs> and bad girl chain, this is uh, my necklace line, bad girl chains. And basically, um, I made the chains not only just so people can recognize me when they see me around because every time i change my hairstyle it changes my whole face and that's that a whole other too. that's another story <laughs> <laughs> um but, barbers. but also because i i wanted something that other women and girls could like it makes them feel strong i feel like because mm-hmm. of what i stand for this is kind of just my representation it's a little piece of me so she's a bad girl the name mala means bad girl mm-hmm. and this is me, me me just building this brand and continuing right. to brand but you know bad girls to me are women that are strong that you know um tackle challenges uh no matter what life has to throw at them they carry themselves with grace and you know what i'm saying with self-respect and they out to get there so and that definitely represents you in a nutshell mm-hmm. without question there's a lot of bad guys. i think every um, female we had up here was a bad girl mm-hmm. yeah. absolutely <laughs> just we leave the leave the truck alone it's got shit. enough issues already but it's our time now scholar vmg <laughs> you guys just uh did something with Irv and chris gotti mm-hmm. uh talk about well, it's that really chris gotti uh okay. he just started a new platform basically um it's called Adventures Music. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a distribution company, basically. It's not a label. It's to give artists platforms to learn how to not only run their music as an artist, but mm-hmm. as a company. Right. Um, we have a situation as a label, so not just artists. We are able to not only put ourselves on as the first artist. Mm-hmm. Um, well, we can sign artists as we're artists, labels. So. Right. Now, b- beyond that, I guess obviously you guys are a phenomenal artist yourself, but what about the next level of bringing in what ha- has the label or the business side of, of J.M. Mallet talked about when it comes to bringing in other artists? Is it to continue on the rap and is it kind of go off chart maybe with some rock or some house? I mean, has that conversation come out, um, come up yet? Actually, uh, we we just released um, 
the first song from one of the first artists that we're working mm-hmm. with. His yeah. name is Nino, Nino Breezy. Breezy. He's from Brooklyn. Okay. He's from Brooklyn. He's a rapper. Mm-hmm. Um, and but outside of that, we have another artist that we're working it working with called Wednesday Adams. Really dope. She's Wednesday she's, Adams. Uh, yeah. She must be really cryptic and dark. Like she's very Adams. futuristic. <laughs> she's uh, okay. and it's Adams like A T O M S. Oh, I thought it was like yeah. the yeah. Adams like, family or something. She's on YouTube. She's really dope. Yeah, <laughs> she's uh, she's very uh, her kind of sound is very uh, what I call it is uh, futuristic like neo soul. Mm. Um, but she calls it cos music. Mm. Um, when you ask but her, she has like that sound. Like when I first met her, like when I when I when I met her, like about three four years ago, I knew off the rip that she just has something different. Like yeah, you know. And when I say futuristic, it's like really. You know how you see some people and you say yeah, they're kind of weird. Right. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> mm-hmm. there's a she's lot that of good smart, weird like. Right. Good <laughs> weird, you know what I'm saying? No That's making beautiful music. She's out here. And she's a I star child. Beautiful music. That's what's up. Now you guys would have you guys were the first ones to give us our first theme song. Hmm. Um, yes. Uh, and we owe you and we need one. another one. I, I already to told Marla. I already told her. <laughs> you don't have to get off your couch now. Yes. Like, it was hot. <laughs> Obviously, you know we we made, we had to make some changes since that. Mm-hmm. So um, you know, whenever y'all get a chance, y'all work. Whenever you get a chance, anything you drop is good. So it's just like you know, my mama cooking. Well, that's um, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up now. I, I wish we had a lot more time. Um, mm-hmm. There's so many things I want. We got to get you back on. Mm-hmm. But why I got you here? To give us one more time where people can find out music. Want to send you music, mm-hmm. events. You got realistic links in the building. You got my man, I got mm-hmm. uh, key. You got. I, I, I brought y'all here for a reason, Malik, because you know we is always you know twenty percent. You know. Well, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Rodeo. You welcome. I, I don't want to say that. I feel so uncomfortable talking about. Rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it for the other twenty percent. We not doing the. We not even that's doing the fifteen that's no more. Nah, said, that's not 20. my thing. No, <laughs> don't put me in that position on the radio. You're always in that Mala, position. Molly, Molly, it gotta be split five ways. I say twenty percent. Oh, no, I get it. Okay. <laughs> He just, he just, guys, a businessman. Um, I need to bring him on board. But any event, where can people find you guys that information, the whole bit? Uh, ScholarVMG.com. That's Everything. the website. Uh, you can go on the gram, ScholarVMG. Also, make sure to follow SVMG Pictures, SVMG Studios. If y'all need studio time, um, and now I'm Mala Reigns on the gram and Twitter. I am J30 Music. That's J30 Music, not J A Y. Um, and we mm-hmm. working, no doubt. We gonna we gonna wrap the show, but just with the new single. Oh yes. Okay. Um, talk about that real quick. Uh, all on it. It's out now. It's all over. Uh, on Amazon. Um, scholarvmg.com. There you go. So you wrong. gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> Pass us that link. We'll wrap it on Nine Fifty Lounge as well. We'll Definitely. link up because obviously, again, you know, I'm uh, we 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 we're all cool, but I'm fans. Thank and you. I, and, nah, I, appreciate that. and yeah. I don't just shake it. I said that about um everybody today, actually. Cause and I, I remember running into them a year ago at the at that's when we met. We first event, met Nala. Right. 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 right, exactly. And she um, you know, ever since then, things, she's so. been on the show, and okay. now I see Mal on in the grocery store in the neighborhood. So, <laughs> 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 so again, I want to thank all our guests today: Ivana K, Realistic Links Magazine, Moon Justice, I God, uh, Keyboard Mike. Uh, the ladies from the the movie, um, everybody, uh, um, Star Taft, Stephanie Curtis, and obviously. In the situation, um, our sponsors for today. I, you didn't let me finish. Oh, sorry, guys. Thank you, but you want to say it? You can say it, good. Oh, situ- situation. She's situation. in a situation. <laughs> She's in a situation right now, man. Go ahead, go ahead. Get like rodeo. She's in a situation. Go ahead. And go obviously, ahead. family scholar, BMG artist, <laughs> Mallorange, and J30. As always, say it's my house, but you always got a seat. You might see in this is three hour mode more often. I like yeah. this three hour thing. So continue success. God bless. Let's end it out with J30's music. We'll see you next week. Yes, sir. Yeah.